look at, really it's hand position is going to dictate which one of these uh, escapes that you do. Like the one I always try to get first is the, like the praying mantis hands like this on the guy's shoulders. So if I'm in, he's passed, it's crushing me from more south. Can you raise up a little bit so they can see here? So look, see how my elbows are in? I'm kind of just grabbing his armpits. And I want to keep my arms bent and make it kind of tough for him to try to fight for arm locks and kimuras and stuff like that. Also, what this does is he's not completely smushing me with his weight right here. So what I want to do is kind of flare my elbows up as I bump my hips. And while he stays propelled in that position, I'm just going to coil my legs this, this way, all right? Now, if you're really good with this position, you can catch some triangles and stuff. Um, I'll show it. I, I can't really squeeze it too good at the moment because of my knee, but basically I'm not really concerned with everybody catching a triangle. I'm mainly just concerned with them getting the weight off of your head and smushing you from north south. So when I come in, my right knee comes inside the chest, my other leg clamps over, and right away I want to hug the tricep and block the knee. Now what I want to do is this foot that's on his bicep, I start kind of stretching and bouncing my body away. See how it's kind of opened up on that side? That was one of the principles we talked about there. Now there's a nice space for my foot to come in, my hip comes up, and you can start to catch the triangle choke. All right? The next one we're going to do, you can either do a backward roll or a pendulum, depending on your comfort level. Some people have a real hard time with the backward roll. Some people have a real hard time with the pendulum. You can use either one with this, uh, this next position. So this is going to happen if I'm able to get my arms in front of his shoulders. What I want to do is I want to start digging for his knee and getting it out like this. So now what this does for me is it allows me to either pull him close to me or create a space and bounce out from underneath him you know, while I'm staying connected to him. So he can't just move all over the place. The other thing is it starts to sabotage a little bit of the control he has on my chest. So what I want to start doing here is bouncing out. My first one that I do, I get my arms completely extended. I'm going to pick one side, turn my head to the side, and then I'm going to just kind of roll back here. You start taking the guys back here. I kind of landed in, a, in an arm lock angle. He wasn't really mashing me down. But the idea is just to kind of like backwards roll and put yourself in a better position. Okay? But what you're also going to find, sometimes when you're in this position and you got the guy's gi and you're bouncing out as he's still kind of charging forward a little bit. So you can't, that backward roll is a little bit tough. However, this pendulum exercise that we did earlier starts to really happen here. So what I want to do is take my top leg, I'm going to stab it through the hole right here. This creates like a butterfly hook, and you create a lot of tension right here on the guy's back. And you can just climb out right to his back. Sometimes he'll fall right over in my lap, but even if he doesn't, if he's stubborn and he's got a good face, I can just kind of take my time and pull myself right up and go out the back door there. All right? This next one is really kind of, kind of clever. Doesn't, sorry, doesn't work like 100% of the time. The guy has to kind of like have his body in a specific uh, way with his knees, but when you catch it right, it happens just like it's just effortless. So this next one will happen when he's got his elbows under my armpits and his knees in real close to my shoulders. So he's kind of like a block, real dense with his body weight. It's hard to push and make any space at all. This works particularly well if he's driving forward with his head a little bit. Because what happens here is his legs become a little bit light. So what I want to do, see how my arms are out of position? I'm going to reach back and go for his heels and pick his knees up. Now I just shake my body to the side. And he falls right over. Okay? So for that one to particularly work, the guy needs to kind of be in a block on top of you with the elbows underneath the armpits. Okay? So those are going to be three that I'd like to see you guys work from north-south. Alright? Raise your hand if you have a question or I will.